Hello everyone! Yes, that weird blonde girl is back and she's not sorry. So today was, it was a good day. It was long, but it was good. It was good. Quick updates, I have been listening to 21 Pilots Heavy Dirty Soul on repeat for the past like three days. I love that song. It's a great song. It's a beautiful song. Um, let's see. The first pr two presentations for my Greco-Roman class were today on meme and send something something to something that starts with a C. <laughs> I have the notebook right here. I can look at it. Nope, that is in the wrong notebook. Never mind. <laughs> because I have two that look the same, which was a bad idea on my part because I'm too blonde for this. This one's it. Let's see here. Yeah, let's see. What are you? You are Saint Bertrand de Pomange, apparently. <laughs> So, I learned about the topography of Nîmes and saint Bertrand de Comminges. Oh, so French. Such French. Wow. Okay, so, first one was like, maybe 20 minutes. And the person just talked about Nîmes and its setup and whatever, and I followed along very well. It was all in French, and I did fine. And then the professor stood up and said, Okay, here's what you forgot to put in your presentation, but it's fine because it's the first day and I'm not going to judge you too harshly. And then gave us more information, and I was like, Okay, this I can follow. Fine. The second person came up. Number one, she talked really, really fast. Number two, her presentation was 45 minutes long. Just... I sat there trying to note down things, but she's talking too fast with really, really intense details, like the square meterage of some of these edifices. How do I say that in English? Edifices? Is that a thing in English? Comment down below. Help me with my English. <laughs> um, but 45 minutes of looking at this saint Bertrand de Comminges and the Vigo. How do you say that in English? Visgoths? Do we say that? Visgoths? Ancient Gaul tribe in the south of France. Okay? Okay. <laughs> so, we're not, I'm trying to learn about this and I'm just sitting there like I'm not following this at all. I think I noted like six times in this notebook uh, to Google it. <laughs> <laughs> or to cherche les infos. Let's see how many times I actually noted it down. Okay. Here we go. Da, 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 da. Yeah, that was fine. That was fun. Uh, nope. One. Two. Three. Yeah, that's three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, eight times in this in this presentation, and this is including what I actually wrote down, and it's like three pages. Okay, two, but still. <laughs> Chica, what the hell? And the professor stood up and said, okay, we had one that was like 20 minutes long. That's fine. It needed a little more, but it's fine. Then we had this. <laughs> and she literally said, Trouvez un équilibre, s'il vous plaît. Which means, please find a balance. <laughs> girl got roasted for putting too many details in there so that no one could follow like no one was following it at all 
they were drowning in the details and didn't understand any of what she was saying. And <laughs> I'm sitting here like, I don't speak fluent French. I was completely lost. I counted off how many times I just got lost and said, Google it. <laughs> It made me feel so much better about myself and my French because I was sitting there going numbers 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 nope <laughs> Numbers are the hardest part of any language. I swear because they're all annoying, but Then she stood up and said that and I said Praise you. Thank you <laughs> Oh man, so that was that class, the first presentations. Ooh. <laughs> oh man, the CM yesterday was good. I liked it. Um, I also had methodology today, and then civilization. Civilization. Civilization is always fun because our teacher, our professor, is fabulous. He. Number one, he's adorable and just says, he also teaches English, so sometimes he'll just say things in English and it's really, really cute because he says it wrong and then he's like, how do you say this? And we're just like, oh, it's this. And he just like, oh, la la la. <laughs> just goes off and it's hilarious. Um, and he's just an interesting human. He's fun to just sit there and watch. <laughs> There are people I thoroughly enjoy just watching and sitting in the background going <laughs> either laughing or just smiling to myself because they're, s they're either they're cute or they're funny or they're really really awkward and I'm laughing at their suffering because I am a terrible person. <laughs> but yeah, that was my day today. Uh, oh, story time. I was coming off the tram on the way home and I noticed that this guy dropped a tenner, a ten little euro bill. If I had one, I'd show you, but I only have a five one. And I only have the five one because he gave it to me, but we'll, we'll get to that. So I go up to him and say, Monsieur, tu l'as laissé tomber. And he was like, oh, merci. And I thought it was done, so I just started walking away until he taps me on the shoulder a little later after I've walked a good ways. And he's just like, je ne peux pas laisser ça. Come sa, and which basically means I couldn't leave it like that. So he pulls out his wallet and gives me a five. <laughs> I don't really know why, but it was really nice and I appreciated it and it made my night. I was tired. I had just gotten information overload from this presentation, but he was so nice. It was so nice. It made me happy. It made my night. The French people are nice, usually. You just have to be polite. You just have to be polite. Okay, I will see you guys tomorrow. Got my ancient history classes tomorrow. So I will let you know about that. But until then, have fun. Don't die. And find good things around you to make you happy. Because you deserve to be happy. Bye!